Hi, today I'm with Professor Julie Menel, who's also the Vice Chancellor of the University of Cumbria. Welcome. Hi, very nice to be here. Uh, you are a part of this campaign, the Brilliant Barrow Campaign, and, and the University of Cumbria is working to potentially make connections in the Barrow area for higher education. Could you talk about some of the potential outcomes of this campaign? Yeah, absolutely. And just to say, we're really um, excited to be a part of this, working with a range of partners in terms of obviously the um, council, county council, um, LEP and uh, uh, BAE and other uh, employers. So, you know, uh, listeners know um, more than much more than I, you know, just what the fantastic um, assets that Barrow has, uh, not just in terms of world class uh, advanced manufacturing and provision and so on, but the you know the long history and and, and legacy um, of of Barrow and uh, advanced manufacturing and and so on. And currently, um, Barrow has. Um, both the advantage and the, and the challenge, if you like, of being that centre for uh, advanced manufacturing, being recognised on the world scale, coupled with a very low participation in terms of um, higher education. So, you know, we're not getting that take up in terms of people coming um, into university, uh, benefiting from a degree, going into the uh, workforce in um, advanced manufacturing other clusters and indeed other sorts of uh, graduate employments and the you know the learning quarter is working with other education providers to raise aspirations raise education attainment and get more people into higher education and you know in and from Barrow to to support not just uh, in terms of career um, opportunities, graduate employment, and and so on, but also to support individuals very importantly to to realise their potential. Um, two of the the sort of initiatives I've seen um, are a skills hub and also perhaps a technology hub. So. What would that mean for a young person who's thinking about what happens after school? What do you think might be available for them? Well, what we want to do is that, you know, we want to provide um, options and, and platforms through education then into graduate um, uh, employment. So in the, in the, uh, in the, to start with, the focus will be around provision that's linked to advanced manufacturing, business, the digital agenda, and we're all acutely aware of, you know, how significant um, um, that's been for us in, in recent weeks and months. And then in time, it will, um, it will uh, uh, broaden um, further around health and education and providing young people in Barrow with local opportunities um, to go into fields like um, social work, paramedic uh, practice, physio um, thera therapy, so on and, and, and so forth, um, and a real breadth of opportunities and, and available uh, on the doorstep. How, because this is all a part of a bid for a government grant, so how do local people sort of put their, their views for to help campaign for this? Well, there are, um, there's one primary way um, to do that, and then of, or the Barrow Town Day Board looking at other um, ways to do it. Um, uh, first, through the um, the website and the, the contact details that are on the brilliant Barrow website, and alongside that, and you know, recognising some of the constraints in terms of um, you know COVID nineteen and so on, we're looking at ways that we can have uh, appropriate. Uh, touch points in and around Barrow so that there's an opportunity for those that don't have access to technology and the web, you know, website and so on to express their views. And there'll be more information in the, in the coming days in terms of um, how we'll be looking um, to do that, whether it's in terms of um, pharmacies, GP, um, um, surgery, supermarkets and so on, because we think it's really, it is really important that we've got a real breadth of of viewpoints as well and also that we use it as an opportunity to um to bring uh, the community um uh, up to speed in terms of what we're planning and why and, and so on and help to um, raise their awareness further um one of the problems that we have sort of particularly in the barrow area but you know throughout south lakes is that you you have a lot of people young people who don't really see themselves as 
going for higher education. And then the ones who do feel like they have to leave to do that. Um, and one of the sort of proposals I've seen is to sort of offer degrees uh, at, you know, at a sort of hub campus at Furness College. So what kind of things might we hopefully at some point maybe be able to have opportunities to do? So be looking at um, areas um, related to um, a business um, provision, project management, leadership, areas of um, cyber crime, cyber security, computing, advanced manufacturing, health and social care, alongside a raft of uh, education um, programs that will allow um, students to graduate and, and enter into professions in primary schools, secondary schools, uh, even you know FE or potentially university. Well, um, thank you so much for speaking with me today. Hopefully, we'll be able to follow up uh, in a few weeks. Um, I just want to remind our listeners that they can go to our Facebook pages, our Can Do FM page, and also the Can Do Gigs events and what's on guide to find a link to that survey so that you can put in what you think we need in our area specifically um, about potentially having this skills hub, which is really exciting and a great opportunity for us. Um, um, or I think you've got a link at the University of Cumbria um, website as well if they follow the news section they can find out even more information so thank you so much for speaking with me today thank you mike it's been an absolute pleasure and good luck i hope that we've got lots and lots of involvement so that we can bring this to to our area absolutely thank you very much thank you thank Bye. you